starting off with a new shield again. I've got the arm blocked here, and I've got a knee on here. So what does it rotate for the So I'm starting here, in that position. Now, before, what we've been doing, we've been here, look, been coming up, and the inside. What I'm going to do now, is when I come on the inside, I'm going to be looking to grab this and pass it. So as I'm in this position, look, I'm going to start to loosen his gi and pull it out. Now from here, as I take the knee out, I'm going to bring the arm under, I'm going to pass this back to my hand. So I get this really strong grip on here. Now, if he keeps the overhook out, I'm going to shrug my shoulders, pull on this, come up as normal onto the back, okay? So we're here. I'm going to pull the gi out, come up, grab, come down, and look, the arm is around the leg, and I'm in half guard, and I've got this really strong grip now around the side of the body. From here, look, I'm going to shove my arm forward, come up, hand, over, on top here. This is a starting technique, guys, I want you to work with. You can do it in varying sort of times. You can be here and maybe you've gone up and you end up here sat upright and you can just do the gi here as well and pull it out and grab it and then come down to position. Or if you're thinking ahead, you can rip it out here. If he grabs your wrist now, you can just let it go and then once you break the grip, you can come back to it, see? Bring him down. And now from here, I'm over. Straight over to the other side. Let's start off with that, a couple of minutes, and we'll start building up the chain. We're gonna do all the techniques we've done um, previously, but we're gonna do them with the Bravo grip now, okay? It's the same grip you see it sometimes done over the shoulder here, like this for a cross choke. You also see this grip used like for arm bars and things to trap the arm and things like that. Okay? So it's a really versatile grip. So we've got the gi on, so we'll start using it. Go, let's partner up, let's give that a go. I've got the position. Okay. I pull this out, put my arm under, sit up, pass it, drop the hand and drop back and pull him down. I go for my three, and it's good to train it like this. He just does one step at a time, he puts his hand on the mat. Okay. I bridge in. Now, what did we do last time we bridged? His hand went from this side to that side. This time he feels me bridge and he puts the overhook in. Quite likely as well, because I'm bridging him this way towards Lee, that he's gonna drive back a little bit. And at that point, the, the sweep's been loaded with his weight. And I just turn, bring his shoulder mat and just roll my body through. Effortless. A back step. And I bring my knee under him so he can't turn his hips in and start escaping with his knee. Now I bring my elbow to the other side and start walking up. I've still got the grip here and I can really pull him on his side. So bring this through, look, just let my hand slip out. I come round into that position. If that all goes wrong, I'm still keeping on that one. Just go back to side control. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just showing you how to get an even better position. As you get better, you'll start thinking more steps forward, so you won't... As when you start out, you're just happy, I'll oh, sweep the guy. What you'll start to do is sweep the guy, then go into the pass straight away. You'll be factoring the next move in when you do the move. So I come in here, like I block him. I pull this out, I sit up, pass it, I drop, pull it down. I go for number one, and he lets me... I, I want that um, kinesthetic trigger, yeah? I, wanna, I don't want him to just punch the, the overhook in here. I want him to, I want to go here and he punches it in. And then that's my timing, it's perfect as he pushes back into me. And I turn, see, and I let the leg go, bring the knee under his to block, my elbow comes up, and I start walking out and pulling on that lever and bringing him on his side. As I come up, I let go of the, the lever of the grip, and I let my arm slip through and bring his, my hips against his back so he can't bring the, the arm back in. I go under, grab, under, grab. Similar to what you and Jim, um, James were doing yesterday, but in no gi, but with this one I'm using that actual grip to turn him on his side. So I go one, two, three, there. He waits for that trigger and he puts that in. This is perfect because he's going to be pushing back a little bit. If I wait any longer and I leave it, I can still do the move, but it's harder work on the sand. He's giving me the move, so this is perfect for jitsu moment when I've got the right timing and the weight's going the right way, so I don't have to use my strength. I just pull him across me, Roll onto my side and he back he falls. Let's see my leg. I'm not going to leave it here because of the half guard. At the moment, I've got my leg pushing this leg and 
using my arm in this one. So I step out before he can close it and I bring the knee under and drive his knees that way so he can't turn his knee back. I drive his knees to the floor and bring my elbow over and start walking around. I get here and I turn him right up on his side and then I let go of the grip on the material and I keep my chest forward so his arm can't come back and I swoop around in front and catch. Is that making sense guys, yeah? All right, let's try it out. I'm gonna help you out. Position, I block him with the knee, of course. I don't just go here, what, what happens if I, yeah, get smashed down into there. Knee comes across, I block him. My knee's stopping him coming forward, my hand on the shoulder and here. I pull this out, sit forward, come through. First of all, I come down, I go under here. I try the first one, he puts the overhook in and blocks it. I go for the second sweep and he leans back the other way. Now what I do is I switch my legs here. I take my outside leg over and bring this one out. But what I don't do is go because he just back steps and passes. So I must control that leg at all times. So I bring this foot in and trap. I walk it back and I start to lift his leg up and then I just draw my leg downwards and it slides under his knee. Now I take my hand to his foot if I can or his shin if not. I turn down on my head and shoulder and elevate. Now I start pulling his foot into me while I walk backwards this way around behind him and bring him down onto his back. Now I do the same move as before. I come around, use that grip, just smoothly run through there. Okay. So we're like going through the chain now. It's like, and he's, this is um, muscle memory training as well. So a partner's really important. Just like when you're learning Thai boxing, it's really important how good the, the pad holder is, yeah? Because they're feeding you the pads in like reactions to how someone will be fighting. It's the same thing here. The better training partner you can get, the better, because they can feed you these moves at the right time. So I go here, look, I set him up. He doesn't do anything yet. Now he does the first one. Now he defends the second one. And that's when I go legs out and I grab his shin at the same time and turn out. And then I pull his foot and walk around behind him. And now I keep the grip and I come round. I don't stay at his backside. I walk up to his shoulders. Let my arms, and now my hips look thrust forward and bring his arm in front. Now if he tries to turn back in, he can't. He's blocked off. Okay, I'm sliding him forward this way. And what I will often do is I now I can get, make a much more effective block by using my um, chest rather than my shoulder and um, my hips. So see here, I scoop down like that and use my chest now, and it's way more. Way more an effective wedge. If he tries to turn back in here, it's really difficult. So I've got my chest driving in. The stomach here might slip a little bit. But, so I'm going to use that position. Here we go. In. Okay. One. I need to come through. Out. From there. Okay, guys. I'm pulling his foot. You know when he... If you just go onto the into a base for me. I'm pulling his foot up, like in like that, guys. And as I walk around behind him, he crawls. Really important that you get your legs around the outside of him. Don't do this, come over, and I'm going straight into his guard. You must walk over his legs as you come around. So once more, when I go in here, block, open, let me come up, and bring him down. Yeah, I'll go for this one, he blocks. I'll go for this one, he pulls away, I'll switch, and I come up, and as I come up, I pull his foot in, and I just walk backwards, walk backwards, and I see his leg now, and he must get around that leg as he falls. And now I've passed. I'll go here, and now I've properly passed, because I'm controlling him. One, two, three, there's my points. And then if I wanted to, easily take his back, go for a choke, go for a triangle, Go for an arm bar, loads of options off that, you know, but let's get just to that figure four position, yeah? So now we're going to add on the foot pull sweep, okay? So let's add that into what you're doing, okay guys? So back we block him straight away. Yank this out, sit forward, bring him down. I go for my back take, he blocks. I go for my roll back sweep, he blocks. I reach under, switch, bring my foot on the outside. And as I come up here, he just pulls the other way. He just kind of pushes in a bit more and he gets, the angle's not working. You see, I can't take him under. All I'm gonna do, look, it's really simple. I'm just gonna take my hand. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go behind his knee here and I'm gonna forward roll underneath him. Here. I can do this sweep two ways. I can just do that from there. If I just go, I can take my hand like that and go into it. Or I can posture up first and then do it if I wanna get a bit more. 
mentally. Depends if I'm worried about the timing, whether I just need to do the strip sweep straight away, or whether I feel like I can come up and use the momentum. So I go here, one, he puts the lock in, two, he pulls away, three, I come up. As I go and I come out, I get his leg, and he's pushed back in again here. So look, the other way to do it is I come out, hand goes under behind his leg, and now I fall right over my shoulder, pulling on the Bravo grip. His arm's trapped, remember, so he can't put his hand out. And that weight doesn't go on me, I just roll and he goes clean over the top of me. And then it, everything's the same from this point on. It's all, it's, it's all the same. Okay. So look what we're going to do. We go one, two, there I'm under here. Puts that first one in. Second one exists, I go here, I come up. This time he's driving back into me. So I go under his leg, look, I just turn. So I can run the other way of doing it, same thing. So one, two, three, and two. Other way of doing it, hand comes up, a drop, shuffle, two, one, three. Okay guys, let's add that one onto the onto what we're doing now. Line in here, bring this one out, bring it down, reaction one, reaction two. Reaction three, drop it again. Reaction four, I go for it. Oh, it doesn't work. I immediately look, swing back round, come up, it goes down. I let go of the grip, I turn my arm in, and I pull it in a line, a straight line that way, because I want it to slip through the gap. The gap is here. If I pull up towards his head, my arm gets stuck. I post out and open my knee a bit in a line this way, and I pull my arm that line. The second it comes out, I reach over and turn up in and tap in. Now I can hold it back from here. Okay? So my arm is like this. I've gone for this sweep. Didn't work. I come back on my knee. My hand goes here. I let go and I do this one. That comes through, look, I pull it and I circle it back over. This angle. Block. Take this out. Come up, feed it, bring him down. Reaction one, he blocks. Reaction two, he pulls this way. I switch, I come up, he pulls back into me. I go here, as I do this, he pulls back the other way. I drop, it doesn't work. I turn back, hand comes the front way, out. There, I come over and I catch him on here, guys. Okay, let's add that next reaction in, okay? I'm gonna do, this, I'm gonna do um, one step drill in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here and bring him down. Okay, I'm going to go move one, and I'm going to do the first move. I'm going to come back down, I go in, I'm going to go here, I'm going to bring him down, I'm going to go for the first move, he's going to block, I'm going to do the second move. Back. I'm going to go for this one, I'm going to come up, I'm going to go for the first move, he's going to block, I'm going to go for the second one, he's going to block. So now I'm going to do the third move. I'm going to go for the fourth move, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to come up, move down, I go here, move one, two, three. Going for all these ones, he's still resisting, right? So I can't pull him over. Look, from that position, I'm turning on his foot, I'm trying to come up on top, not working. I'm going to take him over. And then I'm going to go for the fifth move, so I'm going to here. One, go for that one, he blocks. Two, he blocks through, the leg comes through. Pull here, he's blocking, I go for this, it doesn't work, I come back, whip out, take his back. Okay guys, so we need to drill it like that now, one after the other, okay? 